Craig Olson review 83 speed. Six foot five. Is he better than Finley, Graham, Tony Gonzalez? I'm gonna let you know. We're gonna break it down and I tell you one thing, he's cheaper. He's over about 115K right now, which is pretty cheap. And he looks at my abilities and X Factors. I always suggest putting Matchup Nightmare on. I'm a big fan of that. So this is on him for the review. And uh, yeah, guys, I really actually like this card. I'm gonna let you know what he does and what he doesn't do. I can tell you, like, breaking tackles is not gonna be his strength. Um, you're not going to get a lot of animations for that. He's not going to do anything special in that category at all. And I'll tell you that his abilities, though, are going to match up to a lot of the other ones. It's going to be able to keep him with the other tight ends in this game. His carry's a B. I didn't have very many issues out of this. He did fumble one time, but it's not something you should really worry about or be concerned that it's going to be an issue I really wouldn't think about that at all actually catching traffic is a B plus he dropped three in traffic so do keep that in mind there was nothing special in traffic but uh, my other tight ends did the same like Gonzalez and Graham so nothing new there really and following forward there's He's on a fall four more. He's a big guy. But there's nothing super special about that either. But his moves are B minus. Juke and spinning did not feel good. Uh, Juke works the best. I could not really get stiff arm or trucking working. So just keep that in mind. There are other tight ends that actually can do a little bit better in that category. But overall, guys, for his price, he's going to be a great value. And spec catch is actually where he shined, which I was really surprised. He actually got me the best animations, spec catching. If you watch this review and watch the like plays, you're gonna notice he gets some crazy jump catches. It's it's weird. And um, so for that category, he's gonna be just fine. Eat up there with the rest. Blocking C plus. Nothing uh, super special there, and he's just average. Overall, he's a B plus, guys. For his price and value, go get him. Are you gonna notice the difference between him and Jimmy Graham? I say not really. I wouldn't break the bank to go get Jimmy Graham. It's like almost three or four times more. So, anyways, guys, always be kind for no reason. And let me know what your view you guys want to see next. Think about doing Cooper, um, or what tier list do you want to see next? Is it um, defense player tier list or what? And yeah, guys, if we look at Finley, if you start looking through all these tight ends, they're kind of bunched together right now. There's not really one that super stands out. The weirdest thing I'll tell you is like his spec catch stood out compared to other wide receivers. I mean, tight ends. So keep that in mind. And Greg Olson is going to do just as much as damage as Finley and cheaper. He's going to do just as much as damage as Gonzalez, but cheaper. Or Gronk, Gronk's is slower. So should you have Greg Olson on your team? I say yes. Go get him. Pick him up. I enjoyed him. I enjoyed the card and I'm probably gonna leave him on my team with my tight end because he's a great value. So don't get Graham, go get Olsen, save your coins. I didn't really notice anything different. So that's gonna do it for me guys. Let me know if you want to be in a cute water ball video, send me pictures of your team on Twitter, and I'll show you what upgrade and downgrade, and I will I'll put your name in video if you want me to. Let me know if you want that. And guys, I will see you in the next video.